we are guys. Welcome along. Say hello. Hello guys. Yes, we are on an away mission to the Jurassic Coast in search of dinosaurs and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yes. So, um, we're, we're about, well, we're on the second leg now. We're on to the, uh, the Red Brick Road. And then we're going to be going on to the coastal road up towards Chesil, the mighty Chesil. Yeah, so stay tuned guys and we'll uh, we'll see you when you get there. Hopefully Wingman's on form today. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, yes. Oh, nice. Nearly. Almost there. Nearly. Almost there. We're nearly there, son. Here we are, look, this is my two dive buddies. What's your names? I'm Chris. I'm Will. Nice to meet you, Chris and Will. Nice to meet you. Never met you before. So they've been out diving. So tell us, guys, what's out there? Any place? No place out there. No place. <laughs> <laughs> it's any, no place like home. Any rays? Uh, no rays out there. Anything at all? <laughs> it's uh, barren. Yeah, the zero visibility is what you can find out there. Spider crabs? Yeah. yeah. You can get a spider crab out. Thanks for the info, guys. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Cheers mate. Rolling? Yeah, stop praying. Here we are, welcome back to the channel. I give you Sea Town. Da, da, da. Sea Town. Yes, let's have it, Baze. Yeah, fishing. Last time, last time we was here, remember what happened? Mm. One each, wasn't it? One each. Yeah, one, one small eye each last time. Yeah, so and no a reason. smoothie. That's a rubbish tide today, and the visibility is quite poor, as you can see. Yeah. We're going to smash it, man. Let's hope so, mate. Yeah, really nice. Look, I'm, I'm liking these conditions, actually. Look, how many people are fishing? Not many. None. Welcome along. We are rolling. Here we are. Absolutely stunning evening. And speaking of stunning, here's, here's my wingman. Hello, mate. Hi, mate. Right, pulley dropper is it? Yes mate, as usual. As usual, he's going for the yeah. pulley dropper with a nice bit of uh, rag black and, and rag. Black and rag. Nice quality that mate. Yes mate. And he got it's quite a long rig isn't it? Yes. Yeah, very nice. Here we are, his wingman just lining one up. Right, so here we are. I'm going with the uh, extra, extra long running pack today. So that's going to give me quite a big area. Big area. Yeah. And yes, nice bit of blacks and a bit of rag. And I've gone for a little circle up at the top there. Ah, all right. Just to see if it works. And uh, see that little white bead there? That is a Sea Glow Ultra Lumi popper. And that glows like when it's down there, it'll be like bing, like a light bulb. Yeah? yeah. And believe it or not, that's that's caught me a place before. That little bulb on the end. Ah! <laughs> anyway, look, watch out for the paddle borders, mate. Like, is it is it 50 points if I hit one in the head or? Fair what? game, mate. Fair game. Is it headshot 50? Yeah, I went. And ball shot 100. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, let's go fishing. Only one comment on that. What? The paddleboard is there and you went that way. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> right, so I've brought the mullet gear up here and we're going to do a little mix. And I've got some old uh, sand deals here we've had in the freezer. Been refrozen, they've gone a bit red around the, a bit bloody. So they're a really oily sand eel, very, very oily bait, yeah? So that's gonna get uh, not only the mullet interested, but anything else that's swimming around, hopefully some bass maybe later on. Got some, uh, got some mackerel fillet there. That's going out on a circle look later on. So yeah, we'll get this all mashed up and um, get it out there. It's a little bit of a swell out there, but I've got a two ounce weight. 
No problem. Go. All mashed up with sand eel in it. Pinch the missus spoon. Nice. L mackerel oil. And shout out to shout out to the big hoops. Here we are, just getting my washing line rig on. So nice free offerings. It looks like a washing line, doesn't it? And I've got a two ounce weight there. Um, I've got the two pound test power tip, black rock, pop-ups, and a nice pasty. And Wingman's just, whoop. Wingman's just setting up his mullet rod because I've just started getting bites, I think. sandwich off. Oh yeah. So what are you rocking today? I am rocking a pepperami, yeah. cheese and coronation coleslaw sandwich. Oh yeah. But there's only one issue mate. I know you like your posh bread, right? I've got mullet bread. You're joking. Ooh, what you eat that? Yeah mate that. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> yeah, it's all right, mate. It's bread's bread, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Winning, win, winner, winner, <laughs> chicken dinner. I can beat that. I'm going to do you now. I give you ancient, ancient grain, <laughs> little ancient grain, whole grain. Brown roll. Yeah, mate, I've got to say, that sounds good already. <laughs> yeah, 37 pence, baby, for the roll. And and it was baked this morning, not a week ago. And look at this, look, in there, look. We have got, ready? Drum roll. Brrr. Whoa. I have got there Wiltshire ham, vine tomatoes, red onion, and a nice handful of rocket, and mate, some mayonnaise. Mate, that, that was like an opening of a scallop. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, so, um, and. You got two? I got another one, I made them this morning, mate. Yes, so enjoy your dinner, but mine's gonna be better. Cheers, mate. He is relentless. <laughs> me? Yeah. Right, so you've just found me this. What's it all about? It's a hagstone. Right, and what's it supposed to be represent? Well, that particular stone there 
on like a myths or legends, whatever you want to call it. It's supposed to represent someone's life that's been lost or something. Ah. But a hole through a stone is meant to give you good luck. Right. Okay. Thank you. And if you look at if you look in my box in here later on, yeah, and have a rummage. There's two stones. Oh yeah. Well, it's funny you should say that because I gave you some good luck last night. Did you? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, what did you do? Well. I did a little ceremony for you, mate. <laughs> All right. I was on my second can and I was feeling a bit <laughs> frisky. Big away mission tomorrow there, guys. So, um, yes, we're going up to a big beach. And I'm just going to do some anti-voodoo hoodoo for Brother Brett, the wingman. So this isn't voodoo, this is anti-voodoo, yeah? So this is for positive vibes. O oh, wingman, by the power of this circle hook, 8-0, I cleanse you. You will not blank. You will not blank, sir. You will not blank. You will not blank. And that is the uh, ceremony almost complete. I chastise thee with this holy smoke. And just to finish it off, I will cleanse you with this rose water. There you go, son. You will not blank, I promise you. <laughs> anyway, yeah, thanks for the good luck charm. Are surrounded by this just breathtaking backdrop. Jurassic Coast. Yes, well, three hours in now. We've been here three hours. We haven't had a bite, so much as a rattle on the big rods in the place. So we are fishing for Ray on the other rod as well, aren't we? Yeah. And soon we'll probably bring in the place rod and swap that for a rod, swap that over to the Ray gear as well. The good news is there's no creepy crawlies out there, you know, doing our heads in. So the no baits, snippety snip. The baits, all the, the baits all are coming back really nice, aren't they? Yeah. And virtually untouched. So, fingers crossed, this time, well, a bit earlier than this last year, we, we had one each, didn't we? Within yeah. half an hour of each other, just when it was going dark. So we're gonna be here till probably, I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock, see what happens. But it's an absolute glorious day. Nice of you to join us, you know, with anything or do. I'm still open for a mullet on that, on that rod, and Brett's got a mullet rod out. And um, yeah, I've got um, one more trick up my sleeve, is the mackerel flapper, or mackerel on a circle look later on, so that's going out in the gutter as well. Yeah, so that's not much to report really, mate, is there? No, mate. Just... Not, not at all. No. The beach is cleared off, you know? Yep. There's one other angler up the beach to the side, and that's it. Empty ass. So, we carry on. We carry on and we pray and we hope. Not that I'm religious. <laughs> Please. Yes. Come on, just, just one, just one, just one. We'll do it, we'll do it. God, I've seen it all now. I've seen it all. Unbelievable. How many people are on this boat? Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, isn't it? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven or eight people there. Wow.
Rolling. Like a stone. <laughs> yes, circle hook on the back. The nice is at 3 or 4 on the front wide gate. Get that string on. And we've been putting out one sand here, and then now we've been putting out two, haven't we? Yeah. Because there's not much, but I've just come back a little bit stripped there. So you watching this, look. Yeah, watching. Come out about there, innit? Like that. Turn it. Pop it in the shoulder, baby. Yes. So you don't need string, you don't need string that way. And then all you do obviously is then just um head off and, of his head. Head and tail. So that's a nice little neat bait. But um I'm just gonna add to that now, right? With obviously I'm gonna have to use elastic now. Because I'm putting two out. Right, let's get the sucker lined up. So you just line them up, it doesn't really matter. You can go head and tail, opposite or whatever, it doesn't really matter. It's just a it's just a bigger bait, more scent obviously, because you've got two heads snipped off then. And you don't need to overdo it with the elastic. Just try and keep it fairly together like that. There we go. And that's it. Do the loop de loop, Betty. Gather it up gently and and then my friends. Just give a bit of a snip, of it, snip, snip, snaroo there, and one there, not cutting through your main line, of course, which I've done on more than one occasion. Have you? you ever no, done that? I've done never. That. I have. Never. Right. Never. Your, your nose is in <laughs> Pinocchio. Right. Right. So I can put that in the bait, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it just there like that, and it's gonna stop the sand eel from riding up as well. So yeah, that's my, uh, that's going out now for a nice Raymundo. Believe. Thank you. All good things come to those who bait. bait. Yeah, look, it's getting serious now. So I've got a mackerel fillet out there with a big circle on it. Brett's put that on it with a little stinger in the back. Nice little weight. Come on, mate. Trying everything now. Try that anchovy or whatever it is. Sardine and anchovy. Yes, very nice. Collected that off the beach here today. Yeah, several hooks. And those guys, those all guys, baited up. Yeah, those guys were up there. Brett, those guys were up there, weren't they? Just from yeah. the earlier, young lads. Yeah. And you know that could have so gone dangerous. in. dangerous. You know, baited hooks. Yeah. No need for it, is there, June? No, definitely not. No. So we'll look after that for you. And I do apologise. Yeah, it's a little swivel there. I know. I do apologise. It gives us all a bad name, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I just that would have been so awful for children to catch that. On yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Naughty. I, I caught it on my foot. 
And luckily you didn't, what, you actually got a hook? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Oh well, good deed for the day, well done. Pardon? Yes. <laughs> so there they are, there's June and her friend and it's a shame that she had to have that stuck in her foot, isn't it? You know? And you know, there's still fresh bait on those hooks. Those lads were up there a few hours ago, man. So you know who you are if you watch my channel. Shame on you. You know. No need for that. And it's pretty rubbish gear anyway. Like it's some sort of pop-up rig. And I don't know how many hooks are on it. One, two, three, four. There's one there. So yeah, I don't even know what the rig is. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just rubbish. Take it home. Got to work on it. That's me now, El Desperado. El Desperado. Oh, hold on a minute, mate. Something very, very familiar about this. Yeah, you caught a mullet on that, didn't you? About five years, six years ago. Sort of yes, mate. Like Damn it, twat. <laughs> Pastel shades everywhere. Really nice. Just nice to be here. But I haven't had a bite. Come on, just one fish. Soon be time for the green ninja. Let's just come back in. Just, just losing the light here. Brett's on. What are you saying, mate? I was just baiting up and Brett said, here we go. Come on, brother. you don't do I told you you wouldn't blank desperate times what are you saying Brett 5p going into the sea god right I know it's not much but <laughs> you're you know. a bit tight <laughs> you might give you another dogfish <laughs> it's got to be worth a try isn't it go on then get, hey? chuck it in mate 
So yeah, Brett just had a bit of a, not a slammer, but definitely something was biting it, wasn't it? Yeah, mate. Right there, look. So it could have been, it could have been a mullet, it could have been a bass, we never know. But yeah, we're just scratching our heads here, we're running out of, uh, running out of ideas, mate, aren't we? Yes, mate, we're going to give this light a little bit of a charge. I'm going to put it on for and I'm going to lob it out. Lob it out and, uh... Yeah, there's just not much out there tonight, guys. Another bite on the mackerel flapper. Well, that's about it for tonight, guys. <clears throat> not a very glowing report. But at least Wingman didn't blank. <laughs> now, the only thing we've left tonight, guys, is uh, footprints. That's it. Take your rubbish home, innit? <laughs>